As Tony says, there are 21 snakes that we see here in southeast Queensland, and most of them are one shade of brown or another, even the ones with green in their names. Here we have number two as far as common snakes are concerned. This is the green tree snake, also known as a common tree snake. Now this particular cheeky fellow, they come in many, many different colours. They can be jet black, beautiful turquoise blue, dark green, light green. When they're about to shed their skin, they look brown. The things you look for with these guys is they're a climber. Usually you'll find them climbing around on a, on a tree or on a fence or something rather, up, up off the ground. Now another thing they'll do is when they feel threatened by human is they'll lift their head up like this to have a look around. Because they're arboreal, which means they spend their time up off the ground, the first thing they'll do is have a sticky beak to see where they can take off up. A lot of humans look at that and think, uh oh, I'm in threat, I'm in trouble here. But these guys don't have venom and they don't constrict. As a matter of fact, when they get cranky, you'll see these little blue dots under his scales. Well, he'll puff up and he'll show them. The next step would be to puff out his throat, make himself look too big to, to eat. And then the third step is they've got a gland on their bum and they put this really strong musky smell off, which is quite disgusting. Now this particular bloke, their camouflage is unbelievable. I'd say there's not a single street of the Gold Coast or South East Queensland that does not have these guys. They're very, very common. They eat frogs and every now and then when they're desperate, they'll eat geckos. Now these guys also get a parasite, a skin worm, that by the time they're an old fellow, they actually die of that before they die of old age and this particular green tree doesn't have any. The common tree snake, also known as the green tree snake, is one of only two tree snakes found in Australia. During the day, it looks for food in trees and shrubs and on the ground. Come the night, it's usually asleep in tree hollows, crevices and foliage. Agile and slender, this non-venomous snake can grow to about two metres, but is usually a little over a metre when we find it. Here we have another common tree snake or green tree snake. It's quite skinny, this one, so it looks like it probably hasn't had a feed in a while. And what quite often can happen is, you know how I said that they get those skin worms? So those skin worms will get in, in their stomach or something and actually prevent them from eating and digesting food. You can see, compared to the colour of my jeans, that it almost looks black. So you can understand how when they are on the ground and cruising along in someone's kitchen, that how people mistake them for a, this snake that they allegedly call a yellow belly black snake, when in fact there's no such thing as a yellow belly black snake. Anyway, we'll stick him here and let him take off and do his own thing. Residents of South East Queensland should have no trouble finding the common tree snake. Look for it in trees, gardens, verandas and sometimes even houses. The common tree snake makes regular visits to terra firma, hunting for its favourite meal, lizard or frog. For this reason, homes with water features usually have a common tree snake somewhere in the vicinity, as frogs especially are attracted to water. But just about everything living in the garden with a water feature will stop by for a drink from it at some stage. Please understand that this snake will only bite if you give it no other way to escape being near you. If you move away from it and give it an avenue to escape, it will.